All right, we're here with Britton Hart, big fight, grudge match, if you will, against Jenny Savage, and things got a little interesting at the at the press conference today. Can you sort of give us your thoughts on what happened on that stage and why you think things kind of went in that direction? Yeah, I think that it was really cool. The press conference, you know, a lot of people were paying their respect and can kind of see it was a little, it was a little friendly from other opponents, you know, coming in. So I like seeing that, but then it kind of puts the comparison to a fight like me and Jenny's, um, which is a grudge match. Uh, it did get heated, you know, as we all know she entered the ring on my victory speech against Paige Van Sant and Knuckle Mania back in February. And then we kind of saw that same behavior, that same character that is personally motivating me. You know, when I went to speak, she cut me off and was saying basically just crazy stuff. I mean, I don't, I wanted to know why she thought it was appropriate to enter the ring too. And she didn't really give a good answer. And, and, and then when I went to go speak on that, she cut me off. So again, it's just very inconsistent with her and, and dealing with her, which is frustrating to anybody, you know, sitting at home. We all have that person in the office or, you know, in a family that we have to deal with. And so I kind of feel that kind of frustration with her going forward on just, you know, and again, for me, I'm over her storm in my ring. I don't mean to keep bringing it up, but it, it's getting kind of ridiculous when she lies and like is online and she's spreading rumors and she's bringing my friends and family into it. And that's where I have the problem. That's where you see the real heated, you know, when she, she makes up these stories and says that I bullied her and said that some shit after her fight against Sheena, it's simply not true. So that gets under my skin and it, you know, whatever. At the end of the day, it's he said, she said bullshit, but we have a job to do, and it ends in the ring on the 23rd. Do you guys think you'll be able to put this behind you after you fight it? We see this happen all the time. Enemies get in there, they have their grudge match, and then there's respect at the end. Do you feel like the, the rivalry between the two of you can get to that point after Friday night? I personally say no at this time, you know, to me, uh, it is personal and you made it personal and fighting doesn't do anything, but make me feel better that I, I got to make it personal and give you the consequences that you're asking for. You know, when, when you step up and you, you talk that talk and you can't walk the walk, like I really want to dish out those consequences for me, what I'm looking forward to, um, with Jenny Savage, as far as us, having respect is an apology, an apology for the slander stuff on Facebook, the apology for the storming on my, on my victory speech, the apology for making up lies and rumors. Like that's what I'm looking for. And a fight doesn't solve that. The fight just shows who's the better fighter. So if she apologized after the fight, you okay? yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I deserve that apology. I, I think anybody would agree when you read comments, they're like, wow, that was very low level and trashy for no one is like, hell yeah, go Jenny Savage. You should have stormed Britain's victory speech. Nobody thinks that and says that. So at the end of the day, wrong is wrong and right is right. If she wants to own up to it and apologize, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm really trying to be a better person and, and not be bitter and be better, but there, there comes an apology with it. I'm not going to just sweep it under the rug because it means something to me. Are you more fired up for this fight than you were for the Paige fight? Like opportunity with Paige, you saw it, you embraced it, and you took it. When it comes to this fight being so personal, are you more fired up for this fight than you were the Paige fight? I think I am more fired up for this fight. Um, I think for the page fight, I really wanted it and I wanted to prove who I was. But you got a lot of aspects going into this fight. Again, I'm not salty. I'm not jealous of Paige and Rachel being the main event. It just kind of, you know, it kind of... It's like this. It's not really their fault, but we all know sitting at home or once in our life, you know, when you work for a job or company, you've been there and been hard work. And then, and then the boss's nephew comes in and they get the promotion. It's kind of like, you know, Paige is that nephew, you know, is She's coming in and getting the promotion because she's, you know, that's why. And it sucks for me. So it's like, damn, as a anyone can relate to whether whatever job it is, what do I have to do to be good enough to get this promotion? So for me, that's a motivation factor going into this too. And Jenny Savage just happens to be the 
loudmouth who got in the way of it. So, you know, one, it's personal because of everything going on. Personal wise, you know, I tell everyone I'd fight that girl for free out in the parking lot, you know? So you got that aspect. But now I have the aspect to give it to the, the fans and everyone watching and everyone who believes in me that, you know, it's not, hey, oh, Britain Hart is cocky. All of a sudden she just peep page and she thinks she's entitled to the world. It's not like that at all. Is I just want what I earn and, and, and just respect at the end of the day. And I worked very hard for this. And if I have to keep working hard, that's what I plan to do. So that's my motivation going into this fight. Do you feel like you're gonna have to fight Paige again to get that promotion, so, so to speak, that you just talked about? Do you feel like you're gonna have to fight her and maybe beat her again? Because she was in here earlier and she said that she felt that if it went another round, she'd be able to finish you. So I don't think that she has closed the door on, on that chapter of her career yet. Do you feel like you're gonna have to fight her again? Yeah, and I think that's another reason that makes me a little bit more personal with me and Paige. Um, you know, I think for the first time she kind of dapped me up today, so the, the ice is a little bit breaking towards her, you know. I, but I still don't very much like her for that reason because no, if it would have went one more round, you would have not knocked me out. You wouldn't have done anything. It would have been the same thing. And I mean, I'm still passionate about that fifth round. Yeah, you were starting to get the hang of it in the fifth round. You started to do something, but you still went backwards. Your head still snapped back. I was still the one pressing the pace. I was the one who was still swinging. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like I won the fifth round hands down. If anything, I want to say that she got the first round. If any round at all. I 100% believe I won the fifth round. And if it would have gone the sixth round, I would have knocked her out then too. Two last things. One, do you have a prediction for Friday or are we beyond predictions now that you're, you know, you're a veteran in the sport. You've, you've done this before. Are, are, are we making a prediction or are we just throwing out an expectation? For the yeah, I mean, I almost, I, to me, I'm putting this expectation and I've talked about it with my team. I'm like, man, if I don't knock Jenny out in the first round, I should just stand in the middle and not even deserve a break. Like, now I'm not going to even go see my corner. Sorry, Joey, I love you, but my ass is staying in the middle because I have an expectation to meet. That's really how strongly I feel about it. And then last thing, you mentioned Joey. Big day for you. What just <laughs> happened? Like, was this something, was this like a Jackson Tara Sons of Anarchy type thing where you woke up and like, let's get married today? Or was this something you guys had planned out when you got to Tampa? We're just going to do the damn thing. Yeah, no, we, we actually, we've been talking about it and, and we said we're going to, you know, he proposed to me, um, and then, you know, that was amazing. He was like, you know, he said, yes, we might as well just, I'm going to marry you tomorrow. And we kept saying, you know, every day, we're like, let's just go get married tomorrow. And then finally we're like, we should get married before a fight. And then when I win, I can be like, all right, I want to thank my husband, you know, and, and drop the bomb on everyone and be like, oh, so that was our original plan. And then we got married this morning and we were like, forget that plan. We're so, I mean... It's just, it's amazing. Like, I, I love that man to death. And obviously, you know, it, it's going to be like that. So why not share that? Why wait on happiness? And that's kind of like in fighting. Why wait? That's kind of my my motto going forward. Like, why wait till the third or fourth round? Just go get it. If you love someone, why wait a few years down the road to marry them? If you know that's going to happen, you need to do it and act on it. So we're really happy to be living out that dream and our dream and what we're passionate about.